Hi, this is Teo from punkablocks.com. For this week's sketchbook feature, I'm going to show you this book called Sketching 365. You get 365 tips and techniques that you can use one per day in the year. There are a few publishers for this book, so this one is for UK and Europe distribution. It goes by the title Sketching 365. If you are buying this book in the United States, the title is Drawing 365. And for Asia, they have a different publisher as well. This one is from Page One Publishing. The title is called Sketching, sorry, 365 Hints and Tips for Drawing and Sketching. Uh, this is actually the book that I bought. And this book is the book that the publisher sent to me because I have one piece of work featured inside the book. Now let's take a look at what's inside. Even though the publishers are different, the content inside is exactly the same. So let's just take a look at one book. The author is Catherine Tyrell. She's, a, she's an artist from UK and she's also the blogger behind the popular blog called Making a Mark.blogspot.com. So in this book, she collects a lot of hints, 365 to be precise. You get one prompt per day to get you drawing. Each of these prompt comes in a form of a few paragraphs. It talks about the tips, the techniques, the rationale behind the technique and why you are drawing it in that particular way. It also has a lot of very nice examples from other artists, including herself, the author. One thing I like about this book is there are a lot of things you can try out. So in addition to the prompt, sometimes there will be additional instructions, drawing instructions that you can follow along in case you are a beginner. It's quite easy to follow along even if you are a beginner because many of these tips are actually quite, I'll say, basic. For example, on this particular page, it shows you how you can create different textures using different materials. This is a very good uh, two-page spread on how you can use proportion and measuring techniques to get a more accurate drawing. There are also tips on perspective, how you can handle them, how you can use lines and edges, working with colors and without colors. Some of the chapters are on creativity, how you can express yourself through art. This particular section is on uh, the subjects that you can draw. If you run out of ideas on what you can draw, you can visit this chapter to get some ideas. You can draw still life, you can go outdoors, draw people. There are a lot of different ideas and tips. So there's no way you can say you have an artist block. This chapter is on different medias. You have graphite, color pencils, and ink as well, watercolor, ink, markers. So this book really has a bit of everything. And that's all for this book. This is a very nice book for beginners because there are a lot of ideas, inspiration, and examples. I use this a lot as well. Sometimes I have creative blocks, then I'll just flip through any of the pages to get some ideas. Also to look at artworks from other artists, just to explore more uh, things. That's all for today's uh, sketchbook feature. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will post links to where you can get this book in the video description below, as well as to my text review. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channels for more sketchbook features in the future, art product reviews, sketching tips and techniques. Thanks and have a nice day.